Aduh, oke jadi iya hanya leya hanya kuku leya agbal mau bo ago 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 my greetings to each and everyone watching us and today happens to be uh, Monday and we are here to give you details on the EFA New Year calendar. The EFA New Year calendar is what we are here to give you details on. And as usual, in every year, there has to be a time for renewal. There has to be a time for withdrawal. There has to be a time for withdrawal. So we are here today to give you details on what the EFA calendar said according to the withdrawal of the human soul and that of the regaining or renewing our energies. So we are here today to talk about all of that. And as usual, I want us to listen to one of our favorite a fan track, then we come back and then continue. Today's topic is a fan, the a fan New Year celebration. The a fan New Year celebration, yes. So let us listen to the, the song. celebration that is what we are here for and you know in the beginning of every year there has to be a zeal there has to be a full energy that we have to gain from the universe and as time is approaching there is a need for every human being to withdraw accordingly there is a need for every human being to withdraw accordingly so everything in this nature the animals the plants the rivers the water bodies i mentioned them the fire element the earth element the sun everything in this universe is going to withdraw for that matter every human being must also be ready to withdraw and the time is approaching and it's going to start this May 15th to June 15th, that is going to be the month of withdrawal, according to a fans calendar. The Afans calendar is such that every year, May 15th to June 15th, is the time that everything in life, everything in the whole cosmos, needs to withdraw for a spiritual attainment. You know, as year go, year come, what we normally do is that every time we are all going out there, attracting so many deaths, seeing so many things, so many things are coming our way that at the end of the day, we need to do thorough cleansing. We need to withdraw. And this is a time that every human being, I mean every human being needs to be very careful 
from June 15th, May 15th to June 15th is very critical, is very crucial. This month, according to a fan calendar, is very important to observe because this is the month or a period where every energy responsible for creation, the element of the fire, the element of the air, the element of the land, the element of the waters, they are going to withdraw their sensitivity. They are going to withdraw how they've been operating the universe. For that matter, we are not going to have enough energy to receive from this element. That is the reason why we need a renewal. We have to go within our spiritual self. So from 15th May, this very month, from 15th May of this very month, we all are going to withdraw into solitude. We are going to go within ourselves and tap on our individual self. From June, from May 15th, there's going to be a spiritual withdrawal. The sun is not going to radiate the, the, the heat energy that or the creative substances that we'll be receiving from the sun. The sun is not going to give us all its potentials. The moon is also not going to give us all her potentials. For that matter, all the objective universe, all the entities, the bodies of the universe that we've been receiving energy from, they are all going to withdraw their conscious self for a period of one month. For that matter, there is a need for you and myself to withdraw into ourselves. So that month, actually, in general, there should be a fun holiday. According to a fast calendar that we'll be publishing very soon, that you know how many months contained in a fast calendar and the days of the month, all of this will be coming pretty soon. But what we are telling you today is that from mid June, mid, uh, May to mid-June, every living thing is going to observe a total silence, a total withdrawal. That is going to help you and help myself because every activity from May 15th to June 15th is going to bring so many issues that you and myself wouldn't want or would not want to entertain. So what it means is that what we call ja, ju, the energy responsible for vibrations, the energy responsible for heat element in the universe are going to withdraw. And once these elements are going to withdraw, once these energies are going to withdraw, you have to withdraw equally. Because if you are over, you know, using your energies, you are going to have what? Issue. Because the energies that are going to be replacing the energy lost in the human being, they are also going for withdrawal. So this is the time where every human being must go into solitude. You must go within your human state. What the we the Everest call Angloko Chico, Ngloko na Chico. Go into yourself and become one with yourself. Because the month ahead, from May 15th to June 15th, is going to be a crucial month where if you don't take good care of yourself, so many catastrophes, so many disasters will be falling. Because the external energies that has been supporting us, they are also going to withdraw. All the voodoo's in this life, all the spiritual energies, they are going to withdraw for a solid one month. And for that matter, you have to be ready to withdraw equally. Because, I'm pressing my voice on this, because if you are overusing your energy during this period of withdrawal, you are going to have lack of energy. And if you're not careful, you can get sick. Some people can even pass on due to this lack of energy the sun is also going to withdraw itself from how it used to radiate energy equally the moon is also going to do same for that matter each and every one of us the animals the trees the water bodies the fire bodies the air the land everything is going to withdraw so why won't you withdraw equally and what i'm telling you is very universal whether you are watching us from America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, wherever, you are part of this. It is a whole cosmic concept. It is not a concept for only Africa. It is a concept for the whole universe. For that matter, 
the universe is going into withdrawal total withdrawal for that matter every activities must cease according to a first cosmology if we must respect this day this month every activities on this planet earth must cease it must be a total holiday for a whole full month yes but because the the, the, the cosmic knowledge the ancient the ancestral knowledge got missing we have been doing things that are not supposed to be done and for that matter so many things are befalling us and we don't know the cause so today we are here to let you know that it is time for you and myself to withdraw to go into ourselves for just one month and the reason is that the heat energy the life energy the kaja 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 is going to withdraw. Loso is going to withdraw. Be is going to withdraw. Yeku is going to withdraw. Letter is going to withdraw. These are the four principal energies or elements that constitute the entire universe. And they are going to withdraw. They, const they made you. So for that matter, you have to respect their withdrawal. For that matter, I urge you, everybody, to withdraw from May 15th to June 15th is a month of withdrawal according to a fast calendar and we are going to observe this. So from June 21st according to a fast calendar that is going to be the first day in the new year according to a fast calendar. From 21st of June is the first day in the new year according to a fast calendar and we are going to observe that that day we are going to pull a basin we are going to call the ancestors we are going to call the our ancestors and pull a basin and we are also going to do what we call ancestral feeding where we are going to call all our ancestors and do ceremony for them for a very good work done for they bringing us into this life for the fact that they have established the Efa cosmology, they have left behind a whole knowledge system that we are giving to you today. So for that matter, we expect you all to attend our 2023 uh, New Year celebration, a fun New Year celebration that is going to start from 21st of June. And I am saying that 21st of June, according to a first calendar, is the first day in the new year and the first month in the new year. So each and every one of you must make it a point. So the 21st of June, what we are going to do is to pour libation. Yes, we are going to pour libation and observe total silence and respect our ancestors and do ancestral feeding on that day then on the 23rd night 23rd june night what we are going to do is we are going to do a night vigil where we are going to observe and light candle to respect the fire energies to respect the fire element the return of jabbo so we are going to respect the return of Jagbo, what we call Kagbo. So the withdrawal is what we call Kagbo. And the coming back of the cosmic forces, the universal energies, is what we call Kagbo. And it's a cosmic cycle. So Kagbo, meaning the life energies are going to reduce their work. And for that matter, we equally have to reduce our activities during the month of May and June. And when the Kabo, the return of Kaja, the return of the life forces, every activities are going to start. Where we are going to pour libation on the 21st of June. We are going to pour libation and do ancestral feeding to our ancestors. And then on the 23rd, which happens to be Friday, we are going to do a night vigil where we are going to evoke the cosmic energy responsible for fire element loso kaja is what we are going to do and also 
on the 24th of that same June, that is going to be the main celebration where we are going to respect, we are going to observe the four elements, the element of the air, the element of the fire, the element of the water, and the element of the land, where we are going to observe and do ceremonies for the four elements and respect them and welcome them accordingly. That is where we are going to re-energize all the four elements that are going to withdraw from the May 15th when they return from the June 15th, we are going to welcome them and reinitiate ourselves into the new energies so that we have a renewal of our soul, renewal of our subconscious self. I did tell you before that the air element or the four elements are what constitutes creation and the human state. And for that matter, we are going to withdraw. Once we withdraw from May 15th to June 15th, then 24th is what is going to be the main ceremony, the main celebration where we are going to do observation for the four energies, the four elements. Without these four elements, there is no creation. Without these four elements, no women are going to survive. For that matter, everybody, whether you are an Afa initiate or you are not, once you are a human being, you need to come and receive a renewal of your four energies. That is very necessary. Whether you are home or abroad, we are going to do these things on behalf of those who will not be able to make it and who have to receive names and do serious prayers for each and every one of you. So on the 25th is where we are going to do the citations, prayers, and then pay homage to the Almighty Papa Sa, where the universe came from. You, did, you can remember for a fact that the cosmic, the whole universe as we see, came from a certain place. Yes, the universe as you see, the whole cosmos also came from a place. And the place where it came from, the father of creation, the mother of creation, beyond this our cosmos, beyond this our universe, is in the midst, is within us. And we are going to pay homage to Papa Sa, where so many things are going to happen. And everybody are going to bring or say their citations, their prayers, and all that we are expecting in the new year. So it's going to be a very serious a ceremony that we are going to do, and we expect each and every one of you to be there. I repeat, this year from June, from May 15th to June 15th, one solid month is going to be a month of withdrawal. It's going to be a month of Ngoko Nachiko. Go into yourself and become one with yourself. You are going to reduce external forces. Don't be overwork. Don't overwork your energies. Very simple like that. Do not overwork your energy from May 15th because the external energies that are giving us or feeding us energies, they are also going to withdraw. For that matter, you also need a withdrawal. So, Jabo is going to be observed from 21st of June this year, where we are going to call our ancestors Paul Abeshi and do ancestral feeding. Then 23rd is where the, that is when we are going to do a night vigil. Yes. And then 24th is where we are going to do ceremony and welcome the four energies the creators of the universe, where we are going to welcome them and initiate ourselves with them once again for renewal. That is the time that we are going to renew ourselves. And then Sunday, that is going to be the 25th, then we are going to do citation prayers and paying homage to, Sa, to Papa Sa. That is what we have for you today. But I want to emphasize on this again and again that this year, Kakbo and Kakbo is very serious because in the few years past, 
so many things before this universe and we need to re-energize ourselves so that we can be right there in the promises of Totosau in Keji in the Vota region near Keta. The flyers are out there. You can capture view of it and then take a picture and you can also distribute to other people so that we'll be expecting each and every one of you. Thank you very much. My name is Toto Sao. Bye bye for now.